In Ecuador, tens of thousands of demonstrators are set to march in the capital, Quito, today, as protests against government-imposed austerity measures enter their sixth day. The protests erupted after President Lenin Moreno ended a decades-old fuel subsidy program, spiking the cost of energy by up to 120 percent. The austerity met a key demand of the International Monetary Fund as part of a $4.2 billion deal agreed to in February. As more than 20,000 indigenous people streamed toward the capital Quito Monday, President Moreno said in a national address he was temporarily moving government operations to the southern city of Guayaquil. He accused his political opponents of attempting a coup and vowed not to restore the fuel subsidy. Labor and indigenous groups who've teamed up for protests say they're expanding their demands. This is Nelson Razo, the head of the Popular Front of Workers and Students. Le decimos al gobierno nacional que esta lucha no es solamente contra las medidas económicas. Esta lucha es en defensa del agua, en defensa de los territorios, es en contra de la ampliación petrolera en nuestro país. Esta lucha es en defensa del medio ambiente, en defensa de los derechos de los trabajadores que quieren ser anulados por el gobierno nacional y por el ministro de Trabajo. President Moreno has declared a state of emergency in Ecuador, allowing police to raid homes without warrants while suspending the right to assembly. Nearly 500 people have been arrested.